one thing that I think people should avoid is falling into just preserve the bits mentality. Um, it, it takes you down a couple paths that are not good. Uh, it, it, it takes you down a lot of paths where the IT world has been addressing issues of preserving the bits for years, uh, but as data archivists, there's other things that we need to be aware of. Um, I think one other key, and a lot of information science schools, like here at SILS, are starting to address, is that IT play, plays a big part. And that as curators of digital data, you have to understand IT and, and you don't have to be a programmer you don't have to be a network administrator but you need to know how the pieces fit together and you need to be able to ask the right questions um, when you're working with your IT departments you need to know what questions to ask um, one thing some of our colleagues uh, always say is uh, trust but verify you can trust your IT system does what you say it's going to do but you need to verify it need to understand what it's supposed to do. Um, not all software designers understand things like the OEIS model. They don't even know where it come from. Uh, but the OEIS model gives us a framework to discuss these things with our IT department. Uh, and we have these language that we can talk with them and explain our needs um, and how to work as a, as a collaboration with your IT departments. I think that's important. And it's going to be more important going forward because things change rapidly uh, and you're never going to have a permanent solution to any of these things. There's always going to be a new thing coming down the pike that you need to be able to think on your feet about. So it's more about being able to learn quickly and understand the framework around the IT infrastructures that you're using to preserve your data and to curate your data.